Peace. What's happening, good people? You know what's good to have? Money. And the more of it you have, the better off you are, right? Because you can invest in marketing campaigns and advertising campaigns and get your music out there more, man, and get better equipment, all of that. So today, I wanted to talk about publishing administration, song trust, and collecting all of the money you're owed as an artist and a songwriter. Because when we pay for digital distribution and we get our music into these uh, streaming platforms like Spotify, Tidal, Apple Music, and even YouTube, we're owed a number of royalties. But when our song is played, we get paid for the play, but we're only paid one royalty. And that's the royalty for the sound recording. But in addition to the sound recording, we're also owed a mechanical royalty, which is for the duplication of the work and a performance royalty, which is for the public performance of the work. Because when a song is streamed, it's considered a duplicate and it's also considered a public performance. So they owe you public performance royalties and mechanical royalties. And we don't collect those royalties. Now we can by registering with ASCAP because you know ASCAP will you know track or pay you for your public for the public performance of your work. But ASCAP, you know, a lot of times we only register as songwriters, and ASCAP splits the your publishing royalties in half, where half goes to the songwriter and half goes to the publisher. So if you're not also registered with ASCAP as a publisher, you only get 50% of your performance royalties. So you also have so you also have to register with ASCAP as a publisher in order to collect 100% of your performance royalties. And another thing is ASCAP doesn't collect mechanical royalties. Mechanical royalties are paid out to companies like Harry Fox Agency. So in order to collect your mechanical royalties, you have to register with Harry Fox Agency. But you can't register with Harry Fox Agency unless your music was released through a third party, which basically means a record company or a label. So if your music was self-released, you can't register with Harry Fox Agency to collect your mechanical royalties. And that's where a company like Song Trust comes in. Because if you're registered with ASCAP as a songwriter and you join Song Trust, then Song Trust will collect the publishing share of your performance royalties and they'll also collect your mechanical royalties so you won't have to register with ASCAP as a publisher and you won't have to worry about trying to figure out a way to join Harry Fox agency now in addition to collecting your publishing half of your performance royalties and your mechanical royalties there's also the matter of international royalty collection right because just like we have ASCAP and BMI here in the U in the US, every country has their own performance rights organization that those royalties are paid out to. ASCAP states that they collect international royalties, but the issue is with the way that they do it. You know, ASCAP does it almost in like a bingo type of way where it's like, you know, 21. Anybody, anybody got the number 21? You know because they have their music library and they just basically check their music library with the music library of like every other PRO in every other country to see if there's matches. Now, if your music isn't directly registered with the foreign PRO, there's a high likelihood that it's not even being accurately tracked to even have a match, you know? Now, Song Trust directly registers your music with foreign PROs. And in addition to directly registering your music with those foreign PROs, they also collect from them directly, which is way more efficient than just trying to match up libraries and see if your song matches to that song. Because sometimes, you know, you have a song, got the same song title as yours, you know, and what if they put the song title and no artist name, you know, how do, how do you know whose song is whose, you know? So in addition to just the way that, that ASCAP collects from foreign PROs, there's also the way that they track in general, track plays in general, because ASCAP, when you register your titles with ASCAP, you input your song title, you input the name of the people who own parts of the song, and you input your splits and ASCAP will track it by that information. Now, 
again, like I said, when the song is has the song title but no artist name, like if a, if somebody plays the song or the song is streamed and they put a, a song title with no artist name or a song a, the song title was misspelled or something like that, you know, then things get complicated. Now with Song Trust, they track that stuff through a multitude of ways. It's not just the song title. They do the song title, they do fingerprinting, they do uh, metadata, and they do ISRC codes. So there's a whole bunch of different ways that they track the plays to make it way more accurate and efficient, you know, to make sure you're gonna get all of the royalties that you're owed for your music being played. Here's another thing. A really, really big thing. If you don't collect the royalties you're owed, they go away. It's not like they sit until you're ready to collect them and then you can register with Song Trust and you know three years from now you'll get the this 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 retroactive collection of all of your streams. That money that you're you're owed gets lumped into a pot and paid out to the artist that made the most for ASCAP, you know? It's not even like it goes to the artist that made the least, that needed the most, you know? It goes to the artists that are pretty much rolling in it. So if you don't claim it, you lose it. So you got to claim it, man. It's your money, go out there and get it, please. Now, there's also this too, with, with and this is the reason why I use Song Trust in addition to using ASCAP. Song, I, ASCAP and their pay cycle. ASCAP, they pay based by quarter. You know, you have three months every quarter, four quarters in a, in a, in a, in a year, right? And at the end of every quarter, they don't disperse payments till six to seven months after the end of each quarter. So really, a publisher gets paid by ASCAP maybe twice a year and a songwriter gets paid once through song trust you get paid four times a year they paying you after every at the end of every quarter you know so i like that about it too and if you ask me right why i chose to go with song trust instead of a company like tunecore publishing i will tell you this publishing administration is what they do these guys are specialists you know, they also have another company or they're associated with another company called Downtown Publishing. You know, this is a, 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 a specialized group of people. They are, they know the ins and outs of what they're doing. So for me, using TuneCore Publishing instead of a company like Song Trust is like going to Rite Aid to do grocery shopping. Like, yeah, Rite Aid sells groceries, but I'd rather go to Associated or uh, uh, ShopRite or, you know, a path mark or something like that to go grocery shopping because they're, they're, that's what they do and they're gonna have everything that I need. So yeah, man, check Song Trust. There's a link in the description box below. Make sure you click it, go there, sign up, import your library, from, import your catalog from ASCAP, man, and start getting everything that you owe. And yeah, you know, they have a fee that you gotta pay to register with them to collect your royalties, but trust and believe, if you have royalties, it's gonna make up for it, man. Because you're talking about everything that you owe from YouTube and every other streaming platform and all your mechanicals from this year until whenever, you know? So it's gonna pay for itself, you know? And if you don't feel like there's money out there for you, then don't. I'm not even gonna say, hey, go do it anyway, you know? Don't do it. If you don't feel like there's money out there for you. But if you know you're getting streams, man, you know, which a lot of you are on YouTube, you got to do it. You got to. This is GIF signing off. Pay us no mind. Peace.